Well, good afternoon, everyone. And for those of you that I didn't have a chance to say hello to earlier, uh, I'm Deb DeHaas. I'm a partner at Deloitte, um, a vice chairman, and lead our Center for Corporate Governance. And you know, on behalf of my Deloitte colleagues, I just want to thank all of you uh, for being here today. We're very proud to be the platinum sponsor of the Milstein Center. And I'd like to you know, personally thank Ira, Bill, Marcel, uh, the entire team at Milstein, as well as Columbia and all the speakers here today for just doing a wonderful job. And I think it'd be great if we could give them all a big round of applause. A terrific day. <clears throat> Um, I also just wanted to comment on how exciting it was to see all the honorees and the award winners here today. I think we can all feel very confident that the future leaders of corporate governance, uh, it, it's a very bright uh, future indeed. And I also know that it's always high risk to be that person that's standing in between uh, uh, the end of the day and cocktails, so I will be very, very uh, brief and maybe just comment on a couple things that I took away from the day today. Again, it was a really <coughs> interesting dialogue and I think, Bill, you started off the morning wonderfully with talking about us being at this inflection point on, on governance and I think certainly today we heard many, many things that uh, I know I'm going to ponder uh, as, as I leave here tonight. But I think three important things that I'll just share with you that, that I took away. First of all, just the, the Crown database, that is a spectacular uh, investment and outcome uh, by Milstein and, and Columbia, and I think truly has an opportunity to uh, change uh, the, the face of fact-based research uh, in mm -hmm. governance. So I know I'm really excited uh, for us at Deloitte and others to have the opportunity to uh, have access to that going forward. <laughs> Um, second, just a tremendous conversation around uh, board governance, um, what's happened, uh, a lot of comments about the sophistication of boards, um, government's practices inside organizations, um, but I think clearly from what you heard across the board, those expectations are only going to increase going forward. And, and so I think the importance of us all continuing to focus on, you know, what's the real work of the board, uh, the time that needs to be put in, the importance of ongoing board refreshment, uh, composition, uh, making sure you're bringing the right skills, particularly those deep industry skills, and the need to bring that activist mentality um, in, into the boardroom to make sure you're really uh, maximizing uh, the value of the organization. Um, and then just really last, um, I think just that really interesting um, tug I think we're going to continue to see between long term and, and short term. And I thought the last panel did a wonderful job about talking about um, the array of shareholders and the different perspectives uh, that they do bring. But I really thought Bill uh, had a great comment about uh, what he sees as being that opportunity for both uh, long-term shareholders and boards to collaborate together as well as with other shareholders to really drive um, long-term value and, and, and good uh, w within our businesses of the future. Um, so um, again, it was really a pleasure to be here today. I'm sure you all um, walked away with many insights as well. Before I turn it over to Ira, I know we're going to be leaving in a moment and uh, invite you to join us for cocktails in the faculty lounge. And very importantly, for those of you who are um, looking to get CLE credit um, from today, it's really important that you stop by the desk on the way out and sign out so that you receive uh, credit for that time today. Thanks so much. It was a privilege to be here. <clears throat> I um, appreciate the ability to be here at the very end to congratulate the audience for hanging in. Uh, I know you're not here just for the cocktails. It's, you stayed for the substance, which is really great. I wanted to thank a lot of people for uh, what's going on, and then I'll give you my, my own wrap-up, which is really very simple. First of all, uh, these things don't happen magically. This is the best forum I can remember. Uh, in the 10 years we've been doing it. And the reason is, number one, we have focused in on substance in a consistent way. Uh, number two, we have a group of speakers who uh, are unparalleled. I've never seen such a distinguished group of people come up from the head of the round table to Alan Murray. Everyone of them uh, 
gave them that time to come from very business, busy practices uh, to Columbia. And uh, I, that, that was to me amazing. We, I don't remember uh, having attended or put on a panel show like this. It's been amazing to have the group that we have and the audience, by the way, is pretty good too. We have a, um, a fine audience, uh, this time composed of a lot of people who actually do it, uh, which I think is great. It means that corporate governance is getting serious and uh, we're now seeing people come to meetings like this who are seriously practicing one way or the other in it. So the magic of getting you all together and the magic of getting a series of speakers together, together the way we have, uh, doesn't happen so automatically. First of all, I want to help thank the Columbia faculty, which, wor which worked with us to put together the ideas to make a consistent series of panels which hung together, and they did. Uh, this is great, and it's the reason why we're at Columbia, because we have a faculty which is devoted to this intellectually and every otherwise, and capable of reaching out to people such as you and the speakers and bringing them all together. So I'm really thrilled uh, that I'm back at Columbia and, and back at a place where uh, people are really interested in what we're doing and the future is bright um, because the faculty is getting even more involved than they have been in the past. Uh, now, what I should say too is as far as putting together the faculty, the group, and getting you all in the same room and getting the speakers up, it wouldn't have been possible without our executive director, Marcel Busescu, who's in the back of the room, has been scurrying around. I, uh, he's a recent acquisition and a very good one, and we're looking to many, many more years, Marcel. And Rosemary Dudamid, who's been his assistant and working with him in producing food and people and all the other things that go along with it. Thank you, Rosemary. Uh, so lastly, what did I get out of it? Uh, what I got out of it is a new chairman. That's unbelievably good. So, Bill, I'm glad you're here, and I look forward to it. <laughs> as, far as, as far as substance is concerned, it's been amazing because it all hangs together. At least I've been watching carefully each of the panels. And what I got out of it is this. Number one, we have an array of shareholders for sure who are quite different. Uh, people evaluate them differently. Some of the people who came up said, well, there's really no problem. The long run will take care of it. Freedom and no one, that's fine. But it actually, and we do have not a problem, but we do have issues. We have a lot of different shareholders. And we have a lot of different aims and agendas of these shareholders. Uh, there are activists and activists, and there are great pension funds, and there are great mutuals, and there are great investment managers. They all have a view. Now those are our shareholders. And I think we put them on display today. Some really very good people uh, who really believe in what they're doing and, and, and are doing it right by their lights, which is very important. But they're different from the other shareholders in, in turn. What I learned, I learned that they are different. I knew they were different, but putting a face on the difference, I think for you and me and others, is extremely important. What do they all have in common? The one thing they seem to have in common is they want good boards. Uh, each one of them wound up by discussing how important it was to have actually engaged boards and good boards. Uh, and I think all of them have agreed uh, that we've got a way to go before that happens. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't got yet the kind of boards which make everybody happy and we need them. And then we talked about what kind of boards they would be. And here's where the tough subject really gets tougher. Because to define the directors who are gonna be on these very good boards that we all want, coming from an array of shareholders, all of whom, whether they're activists or mutuals or pension funds, all of whom want good boards and better boards, and they're all going about it in different ways, but that's what they want, and that's what we have to produce. So now how do we produce through good governance, which is what we're all about, 
we haven't quite produced it yet. We've got a way to go. How are we going to produce those boards, which everybody seems to want, and everybody is fighting for in their own way? Uh, the answer is, I don't know. Uh, and that's why we have the center actively involved in now beginning to plan the project on the bill, where I'm gonna help and others will help as well, to try to figure out what will we define as a good board? Can we? Is there a profile? Can we create a profile? We know that it's gonna change over time. No profile is, no profile is consistent. But who do we want on the boards? What do we want them to do? What kind of people are we looking for? This is a major project. And I, I'd like to leave you with the thought that it is a major project. It's all well and good to talk about we want good boards. Uh, it's all well and good to talk about the fact that good boards will make for better corporate governance and will deal with the array of shareholders in their own way and they'll all be consistent with the idea of creating lo long wage profits, wealth, whatever you want to call it for the shareholders. How do we get there? How do we do that? Nobody can do that on these, this platform or any other platform. Nobody is able to define the mechanics of going about creating a good board. Access, fine. What does access lead to? Who are they gonna put on the board? What are they, how are the access sores going to find out the kind of people that we want and put them on the boards? How are the activists going to find the kind of people that they want? How are the pension funds and the mutuals going to find the kind of people they want? I don't know. And first we have to try to define what we're talking about, which we haven't yet, other than saying we want good boards who are engaged. Uh, what kind of people are they? We have done find that. It's not going to be easy to do that. This is the future of the center. We now have the job of trying to define the projects which will produce the good boards, we hope. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take a lot of time. And if we finally get around to doing it, how are we gonna get those good boards in place? Uh, my own view is that the boards are gonna have to be responsible for getting the good boards in place. But that's, that's short-circuiting it. And there will be a lot of that involved too. Namely, after we know how to do it and what we want, how do we get them there? What is it that's going to give us the ability to replace what we have and improve it? Now, finally, uh, what I got out of it is how important Crown and its algorithms are. I don't understand those algorithms at all. All I know is that they do produce information, not data. And the kind of information that Crown and Rob showed you this morning is just scratching the surface. But think how important it is now that we're thinking about the motivation of shareholders who want good boards. Do they really want good boards? They want something else? We can find out now. We have the ability to do that. How many good boards are there? We have the ability to find that out once we know what a good board is. In other words, these algorithms are going to give us the ability to get into data, which is there. It's there in a whole variety of places. But nobody's been able to access it and make it information. Crown can do that. So we now have the center operating on a very good investment into Crown, which is gonna produce results for all of us, and a future which can be helped a lot by Crown. So I wanna thank everybody who's here and having stuck it out, and Bill particularly for taking over, and everyone else who's been involved, and I really appreciate the office hanging in the audience hanging in as long as you have. And I, I applaud you for your stick to your intuitiveness. It's really great. Thank you all.